Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the Copilot feature in Microsoft Forms. So the announcement of this was made back in February of 2024. And starting March, I'm seeing this feature light up in my tenants. So in this video, we are going to deep dive into what this new Copilot enhancement is and all the features that it does and does not offer in Microsoft Forms. So stick around, this is very important. But first, here's my intro video. So the official announcement of Copilot in Microsoft Forms was made on February 29th of 2024. And over here in the tech community blog, it does give you an overview of what the enhancements is. But one of the things I did not notice over here is how do you even go ahead and access that Copilot feature? And here's what I mean. So if I toggle over now to my Microsoft Forms, this is basically you know, the home page of Microsoft Forms. And when I come over here, I don't see the Copilot feature. And that's one of the big things that was actually skipped in that documentation and therefore I'm building this video. So the most important thing that you need to be aware of is that the Copilot feature is only available for the form functionality. It is not available for the quiz. And here's how I can prove it. In Microsoft Forms, when I click on the new form button, when I click over here, now it automatically routes you to this new page. This is where you can draft your form using Copilot. However, if I now go back and try to create a new quiz, it takes me directly to the new quiz over here. It doesn't route me to another Copilot section. So that's the important thing. That's the big tip that I wanted to give you is that right now, yes, there is Copilot enhancement available in Microsoft Forms, but it is only available for the form functionality, not for the quiz functionality. Make sense? Good. All right, so let's go back over here. In this screen, it is actually giving us an overview. It's actually saying, hey, describe what form you'd like to create, including its context, purpose, who is the intended audience, and any specific requirements that you can give to actually make a nice form. But in addition, it is also going ahead and giving you these prompts. These prompts are actually examples to help you create a form and to give you some ideas. And by looking at them, I actually drew some conclusions. These prompts can actually be of three different types. One is if you want to go ahead and design the overall form or go ahead and just create a draft or you just tell the copilot, hey, here is the purpose of the form and then copilot will go ahead and actually design that for you. So it's pretty neat how flexible the copilot can be because you don't have to be very specific with it. As long as you give it some information, it will go ahead and draft or create a copy of the form for you. Pretty neat. So for example, let's go and actually take this last one create an employee feedback survey for the HR department to access. So when I go and click on that prompt, this is the overview description that it gives. So let's read that together. It says, create an employee feedback survey for the HR department to assess employees' job satisfaction and find areas for the improvement, including questions about personal information, such as department job role, feedback on career development, company leadership and compensation benefits and recommendations for future improvements. So this is how the prompt was given. Now if I click on generate, it says Copilot is analyzing your requirement. It is going to go and start building and creating the draft. It's finalizing it. It's saying we are almost over here and it starts to go ahead and give you a good overview. Now just based on that text, it went ahead and created not one, not two, but 10 different questions over here. In addition, it is giving you some options. Do you want to go and keep it? Or do you want to go ahead and add more details to it? Or if you don't like what this is, let's click on refresh and see what the next batch of questions it will give us, some next suggestions. So I'll click on the regenerate. It is going ahead and analyzing it again, creating a draft, completing it. And now it will go ahead and give us the finalized list of questions that is here and the options. So now again, it is loading. But in this time, it is actually going and giving us again, 10 different questions, which is again, neat. And there's different variations from what we saw before. Other important thing is that say for some reason, you did not like this one. And you said, you know what? The first one was actually much better, completely fine. See on the bottom left over here, this little one, you can actually go and say, get me the previous draft. And I can click on that and it goes back and gives me the first one. So I'm pretty happy because I can go and regenerate this a few times see what my different options are as far as all the questions that Copilot has provided me, and then finally make a decision, which one of these do I need? So just for example, I can go back again, 
see these eight which were given over here. I'll go ahead and regenerate again. Now it goes ahead and analyzes it. It will go ahead and create a draft and it comes back over here. So let's see, this time it is going out and loading it. Here it actually gave us seven different questions. See on this, the second one, it actually gave us 10. And on the first one, it actually gave us 10 as well. So, so far I am not liking what the third one is. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the first one. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And this is how the form basically goes and gets created right over here. And it gives you the option to go ahead and explore the theme as well. So this was using one of the existing sample prompts that was given. Next, let's go and try using our own prompt. So here we go. I'm on the Microsoft Forms homepage. Click on the new form. Uh, I'm going to go and give this prompt. Let's read it together. Design a monthly potluck lunch event form where we celebrate monthly birthdays. Provide options to ask diet restrictions due to health or religious regions. All right. It's pretty descriptive. I'm going to click on generate. Uh, it is analyzing the requirement. It says it won't take long, but it's already going and creating my draft. And so far, it's only giving me these two questions over here. It says, what dish will you bring to the potluck? And then do you have any of these diet or health restrictions? Um, so far, I like it, but I wish it gave me some more options or at least broke this down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and now regenerate. So it goes ahead and analyzes the same set of restrictions. And here you go. All right. So this time now it gave me three of them. So let's see. It says, what dish will you bring? Uh, I like this one because it actually went and broke down the dietary restrictions versus any of the religious restrictions. But I want to again get more options. So I'm going to click on regenerate. It is going ahead and going analyzing the same request, creating the draft, giving me some more options and functionality. And now it's going and finalizing it. All right. So now it's got five over here. So what's the additional thing that it did? OK, I see it gave me the name it gave me the email address. Ah, This is a good one. When is your birthday? Because when people are filling out the forms, if they go and provide their own birthday, that can help you plan for the future potluck lunches too. So it's pretty neat. And it's neat because I didn't ask for it. Copilot thought that that was a good one to put in. So I like that. All right. So I'm going to try that two more times and we'll see what happens over here. Okay. So I'm going to go and now regenerate again. Maybe this time it'll give me some more options. We'll give it a best of five. Um, all right. So it went in and gave me only four. Most of these are pretty good. I see no difference over here. We'll try one last time to regenerate. Um, and then here we go. Okay, so now it actually does this same setup over here. So now I have five. The neat thing is that I can go back to the previous ones because if you haven't been keeping track um, over here, all the regenerated options that has been giving me those drafts, it is keeping track of that. So remember, I did that five times, which means it allows me to see all of those five drafts. So here's the fifth one that I saw. I can go back and see the other one too, right? This is pretty good. The fourth one, um, then the fifth one. I mean, the third one was not bad. Most of it was just to type it in as a text. And then there is the second one. And then there's also the first one. Now, I wish there was a way where I can pick and choose questions from each of these drafts and put it together. Right now, that is not there. Maybe something in the future. I don't know. But as of right now, you've got to go ahead and pick and choose which one you're going to use and then work with it. So what I'll do is I'll actually go back to, let's see, this one was not too bad. Um, this one was actually the best one so far because it gives the users the option to just go and type it in. Uh, so we'll work with this for now. What I also want is this one additional question that needs to be there. It says, add a question to ask if they will bring salad, dish, side dish, or dessert. Other thing that I'm going to try, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, is make this new question as a multiple choice selection. So let's see what happens. All right. I'm going to go and click on generate. So it should stick with that draft that we selected and in it, go ahead and add one more. So there were five questions. There should be six. And there you go. And the sixth one came straight at the bottom over here. So that's pretty neat. Okay. It goes ahead and gives it a six over there. Um, so, so far so good. Everything looks neat. I don't have any problems with it. I'm going to go and say, keep it. So now it is going to go and create it. All right. And then over here, you can go in and pick and choose if I want to go and make any design. You know what? I'll go and stick with, say, this one over here. I'll go and stick with this one over here. This is a pretty nice design. I like it. So I'll go and click on keep. And there you go. Your form is pretty much done. Now, if I go and click on preview, yes, you see this opening screen over here. And then after that, I click on start. And there you go. This is basically it. It shows you the entire form. Currently, you do not have the option to ask the co-pilot, hey, go ahead and branch it into these chunks. Uh, it is not that smart yet. So at least you got about 80% of the work done over here. 
Now, if you want, you can go ahead and now start adding some more branching or you can go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and actually create another sections. In the sections, you can go and add some questions, do all that. I've got videos on all of those as well. I'll put the link down. You can go and watch those later. Um, but it's pretty neat that at least it got us about 80, sometimes 90% of the work done. Uh, and then you can just go and tweak it or you can go and share it. So you may have already noticed this, but if not, let me point it out. Now that we went ahead and created the form, inside the form, you do not have the option to go ahead and use your Copilot functionality. Because here we go, we went and actually got the form over here. I don't see any option to now go ahead and add a question or make any changes using Copilot. From here on, you are on your own. You have full access to go and make any changes, but at this point, you do not have Copilot's assistance. So keep that in mind. But when as I was playing around with this, I did notice one thing. So check this out. If I went ahead and deleted all five of these questions, all right, so I'm going and deleting now slowly all of them. Here, deleting three, went ahead and deleted two. Now watch this, all right, keep an eye over here. In the last one, if I go and now delete this one, you get to this point which is pretty neat because it remembers your theme, it's keeping over here, all of that. But now you have the option to either create your first question or draft with Copilot. So if I click on draft with Copilot and say if I go ahead and add that exact prompt all over again, click on generate, it will go ahead and now create a draft. This is pretty neat because now I have all of these things too. See, these enhancements are pretty neat. In fact, I got 10 different questions over here, which is not what I had before. Um, so I can go ahead and now keep this one and it remembers the theme that you selected. So I wanted to point this out is that you can maintain your existing theme, the same theme that Copilot gave you options for, but you can always go back and use the Copilot again from scratch. You cannot do it with any of your existing ones. And just to point it out here, right here, see, I don't see the options for adding Copilot. And this fancy thing over here for question suggestion, that is not Copilot. That's just recommendation that it is giving. You don't actually see any window for Copilot over here on the right or any over here. The only way it shows up is when you go and delete all the questions. So based on this testing that you and I just did, the conclusion that I'm drawing is that yes, this enhancement is great, but this is just the initial phase of Copilot enhancements in Microsoft Forms. I suspect there will be more enhancement that was coming. Uh, one of the things that I would really like is so I can actually take bits and pieces of those questions from each of those drafts and then combine them together. That would be neat. Also, I really hope in the future that once you're inside the form, you can actually go and continue leveraging Copilot over there. And, and maybe in the future, you can even start leveraging Copilot for some of those advanced features such as branching. We'll see if those Copilot enhancements come in. So this was an overview of the Copilot feature in Microsoft Forms. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment Either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.